Um, yeah, I guess my question is what's thought? Um, I really appreciated the person who made the comment that in the coaching session they liked that you didn't go into the details. Mm -hmm. And I'm, aw I'm aware that, you know, when I'm with people who want to get super involved in their details and in their story and in analyzing it, I have very little patience for that. It's like mm -hmm. I, um, I just find that to be a really ineffective way of, of mm -hmm. direction. So I, I really don't want people to go down that road. Um, but I'm still, I'm, I guess I'm not sure what thought is mm. when you talk about. Sure. Um, no, I, that's, I think it's, it, that, that's great, a great, you know, a great chance to clarify. Because it is a little different to even what I used to mean when I would talk about thought. Um, here's, here's the distinction I've been finding useful. Um, so, um, uh, let's put a little T in a circle there for that thought. It's going to wind up looking like a lot of dead people. <laughs> Just so you know, I, I kind of know where this is going. I've, I realized as soon as I did that, okay, it's going to just look like that, but don't worry about it. <laughs> at, at least they're all good Christians. So, um, <laughs> so, so thought, as I'm talking about thought, is an energy. It is a formless, creative Play-Doh. It's the raw material out of which we construct reality. It has no mind of its own, but it is of a universal mind. It's, um, it's the snow that we make the snowmen out of. Thinking is one of the uses of snow. Like one of the things we can do with thought is think. And so thought is not the stuff that thought is not the stuff that's whizzing around inside my head. No, that is made of thought. Those are thoughts. They're thoughts or or they're formed. That's the that's kind of the key. Once it's in our thinking, it's already got a form to it. It's already got a shape to it. It's no longer just play-doh. It's made of play-doh. And then if we now here's where it gets like this is in a way the whole thing, right? This is the, you know, you can go home after this bit, okay? <laughs> is what happens is, and it happens again and again and again, and it will happen till the day you die, best I can tell, is some thought forms have the appearance of solid objects. It's a drawing I, I did for the first time with a client during the week. So it looks like this, so I make a triangle out of thought, but that looks solid, and I start having a lot of thinking about it. So let's say that that's death. This triangle is death. Well, I have thinking about death. And I think that that's significant. I think the details of my thinking about death, because each one comes with a feeling, <coughs> right? Because we feel our thinking. So if I was going to sketch it, it would be, you know, you could almost say TF, like thought feeling, thought feeling, thought feeling. And we can see how some of our thought feelings about death are not very useful. They, they hurt us. They keep us awake at night. They trouble us. And so we try to fix our thinking. We try to change our thinking. We try to get better thinking about death. Or we try and have less thinking about it. We try and not think about it. But what's missed in all of that activity <coughs> is that the thing itself is made of thought too. So we look at an iceberg and we think that can't possibly be made of the stuff as the water we're floating in because it looks so different, but it is. 
We look at, well, we can't even look at the sky, but we're aware of the sky and we think this can't possibly be made of the same stuff as the iceberg in the water. But fundamentally it is. So we live in a world of thought, but we think we're living in a world of form. And we get distracted by our thinking about thought forms. And it distracts us from the fact that even the thought forms are made of thought. Now, I know if you're trying to track this, you are so up in your head right now that you're going cross-eyed. So the best I can tell you is don't try and track this. Just be here, you have ears. Consciousness will allow the sound in, right? And you might hear something. So that difference between thought at a, at a fundamental level, a principle level, that's what, when we talk about principles in the three principles, we're talking about at that fundamental level, that irreducible level, the level below which things have been made as simple as possible but not simpler, right? The fundamental elements that, that can neither be created nor destroyed, but they can combine in ways to create everything else. <laughs> The periodic tables of life, <coughs> right? And there's only three fundamental elements at that level. Thought, this creative Plato. Mind, the intelligence and energy behind the animating force. And consciousness, that which allows us to have the experience at all and to have that experience at different levels with different levels of understanding of what's really going on. Now, everything that we have talked about and everything that we will talk about is made of thought. It's so fundamental that it's kind of inconceivable because it is that which conceives. I, I sometimes describe this conversation as using ice to point to fire. The closer you get to the truth, the less you've got to work with. Because it's all made of the same thing that we're using to try to understand it. 